Hey everyone, I'm uh, Darren Gross. I'm a uh, condor biologist with Montana Wildlife Society. Condors 566 and 711, uh, this is another pair that we're uh, hoping to see some nesting activity from. It's two males, so we're hoping a, a female will join them uh, so they can have a trio down there at San Simeon, uh, which they've had in the past with a uh, now deceased Pinnacles female, Condor 725. Something we see in condors, not, not frequently, but with some regularity, is they'll form these trios uh, for nesting. Part of this is because the, the sex ratio in, the, in our flock is so skewed toward males. We have a lot more males than females. So we've seen a lot of two male, one female trios in the past for raising a chick. And, and they've been really successful and uh, something that seems to work. So whenever we see a, another trio form, we get excited about it and, and the prospects of fledging another chick. But a little bit more about these birds, they're both pretty special. This is our resident San Simeon pair and they've been a lot of fun to follow these past few years. 711 was another bird I worked closely with as an intern and released from San Simeon. And yeah, his name is Big Gulp. I'm sure you all can figure out how that name ties in. But yeah, he he's, was released down there and never left. And around that time is when 566 came down there and discovered that territory and really claimed it as his own. 566, his name is Mike's bird. He was named after a biologist who worked here for years at Ventana, Mike Tyner, who sadly passed while working up on our ridge. So we named 566 after Mike in, in honor of him. And really ever since 711 was released and, and met 566, they've been inseparable and in love ever since. So we've been expecting them to, to nest for a few years now. Um, they're a little aggressive. So sometimes they'll chase potential females who could join them away. So the past couple years we haven't seen them nest, but we're hoping uh, they'll, they'll warm up this year to someone and uh, see some nesting activity down there.